this exciting, Endora. A play date at the zoo with your friend Amy. And her nanny, right? I think it's wonderful that you have new friends from your preschool. But don't you forget now, you have to be very careful today. That's right. No magic. And I mean absolutely none. Oh, they're changing little girls into kitty cats or anything else for that matter. You understand, sweet pea? Good. Well, promise mummy, right? No magic. God, I'll lose my badge. I could even go to jail. <gasps> Whoa. Mama, calm down. Oh, no, oh, thank God it's you. Hey, what's the matter? Why are you so jumpy? Okay, Vincent. One way or another, this ends today. Dad, you made it. Of course I knew you would. You can't resist me, can you? I told you. This needs to stop. And I'm here to end it. Uh -uh. You want it, Chad. And I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give you exactly what you need. I know the blackmailer's watching me. Watching every move I make every second of the day. So where is the people in this room? What are you doing? Hey, what's up? Are you looking for hidden cameras or bugs? Because I don't think the paparazzi is going to be that interested in Chad's party. Oh, my God. Chad's party. Yeah. You said I could throw Chad's surprise party here. Honey, I left you like 10 messages about it. I know. I'm so sorry I didn't call you back. Uh, yeah, yeah, Chad's birthday. Yeah, I, I mean, it still is okay for me to have it here because uh, I've already made all the arrangements and it's going to be really hard to, yeah, you know. Yeah, no, yeah, it's, yeah, it's just, you know, I've, I've, been, I've been really distracted lately. Yeah, I know, you're right. I'm sorry. I, I know you've been through a lot. Your brother's, you know, have gone to prison. I can just have it someplace else. No, 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 really, I want you to have it here. You sure? Because I know you've been through a lot. I'm sure. I'm sure. He's in there, Whitney. Help me. Look, look, look. The blackmailer. He watches me, Whitney. He knows everything I do. Everything. to do is slip into Miguel's room to kill him before anybody comes this way. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. Oh, I am so sorry for what they did to you. I wish I could touch you, hold your hand. But I know I can't get too close without looking suspicious. I am here, though, Luis, okay? And I am not leaving you. I promise, no matter what, I will never leave you again. How you doing, Miguel? All right. Liar. You're in terrible pain, and I know it. I'm going to give you something to help you sleep. Okay. I want to stay up just in case. Kay comes back. She won't be back, Miguel. You're not allowed any more visitors today. More visitors? No, this is a prison hospital, remember? People can't just come and go as they please. Yeah. yeah. This is going to give you some relief from the pain. 
Well, Miss Nurse, you just made my life a whole lot easier. The girl's gonna be out stone cold when I send him off to dreamland on a permanent vacation. <laughs> Come on, Chad. Now, aren't you tired of playing this little game? All hard to get? You know you want me as much as I want you. No, I don't. I came here to tell you once and for all it's over, Vincent. I don't want to be with you again. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> well, you know it's really not up to you, is it? I told you, I'll go to your wife if you try to break it off. No, you're not going to do that. Try me. I told you, I have it all on DVD. Remember? <clears throat> you think Whitney would want to stay with you if she saw us doing the deed? No way. Why do you want to be with me when you know how much I hate you? Yeah, you say you hate me, but I know how you really feel. You show me how you really feel. Yeah, well, you're wrong. Okay? What do you want me to do? Hmm? Beg? Get down on my hands and knees? Plead? Pretty please? Knock it off. <laughs> Knock it off. <laughs> oh. You want to play rough tonight, huh? Okay, by me. You know I like it rough. No, Vincent, I don't want to play, period. Why can't you just accept it's over? Because it's not over until I say so. You know, you act like you don't want me, but I know you do. You think about me all day, all night, all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm under your skin, Chad, just like you're under mine. Mm -hmm. You need me. You crave me, don't you, Chad? Yeah, you're helpless when you're with me because you know how good I can make you feel. Mm. No, I don't. I'm not playing your little games anymore, Vincent. It's over. And I mean it. Now, what makes you so sure that there are hidden passageways and peepholes in the house? Because the blackmailer, Whitney, he knows everything that I say and everything that I do. And Ethan saw these eyes looking back at us when we were in my bedroom. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Yeah. It was, it was crazy. Ethan, he ran out of the room and he came back with an axe. He busted a hole in my wall and then he chased after the creature. Okay, okay. Well, so how many hidden passageways do you think there are? I mean... I know Alistair did have a couple, right? They're everywhere. They're all over this house. You know, there's all these secret tunnels, these, these peepholes. I mean, that's how the black man knew every time I was alone with Ethan. Okay, I, I don't even know how you can even stand to live here. You should just move to a hotel, another house. No, I, I can't do that. I mean, the black man, he would, he would just follow me. No, no, I have to do exactly what he wants. Or he'll make sure that McGill spends the rest of his life in prison and Luis gets executed. Yeah, but you can't let this freak get away with this. you got to fight back somehow. I don't have anything to fight with. And you know what else? He, he said that if I don't do exactly what he wants, he's going to tell Ethan the truth about little Ethan. Well, that's good. You know, it, it's high time that Ethan does know the truth, that little Ethan is his son. No, no Whitney, he would hate me for lying to him all this time. Don't be ridiculous. Ethan's not going to hate you. He loves you. He's always loved you. And what about Julian? If Julian finds out the truth that little Ethan really isn't a crane, I will lose all the money and power. I will lose my son's inheritance. An inheritance that isn't even rightfully his. Now, what good has all that power and money done for you? Your brothers have still gone to prison. They're still paying for crimes that they didn't commit. What good has all that power and money done for them? Uh, Ethan, he, he's using all the money right now to, 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 to file appeals. He, he's investigating the crimes. He's trying to find the real rapist and the real murderer. You know, and that costs money. All right, all right fine, but don't tell me that you're putting up with all this crap for little Ethan's inheritance, because I don't want to hear it. Okay. My son's future is all I've got, Whitney. Black Miller's taken everything from me. Well, if that's the case, what more do you have to lose? What can the blackmailer still do to you? Um, look, look, all I can tell you is that he's adamant that, that I need to give up on Ethan. I need to stay away from him. I need to commit to my marriage to Jared. And there's something else that he wants me to do. He wants me to have Jared's baby. Have Jared's baby? 
as soon as possible. Okay, well, well you're obviously, you're not going to do that. I don't have a choice. Okay, so the blackmailer forced you into marrying Jared. Now he's going to force you to have a baby? That's wrong, honey. Yeah, I know it's wrong, I know. <sighs> he forces you to marry someone you don't want to marry. He forces you to have a baby that you don't want to have. When is it going to end? I don't know. I don't know if it ever will. What is wrong with you? Your problem's about to be solved. You should be quietly celebrating. Well, I just, uh, didn't think we were going to have to take things so far to keep Kay away from Miguel. Well, neither did I. I mean, one would think that once Kay realized that Miguel's going to spend the rest of his life in prison, she'd give up on him. Well, she hasn't. I don't like the way things are going. What? Things are going your way. You should be grateful. Instead, you're wound up like a top. You're you. I'm about to have a man killed. I, I think I'd be allowed to be a little bit tense. Listen, you were a crane. That means you do whatever you must to ensure a victory. You could never live with yourself if you, 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 you hand your wife over to that loser. Father, did it ever occur to you that maybe I don't want my wife if she's still so determined to be with another man? You know, I have a little bit of pride left. Well, the only way to keep your pride and your dignity is to get rid of Miguel, because as long as he's alive, Kay will want to be with him, whether he's in prison or not. This is the only way to keep your wife. Miguel must die. How are you feeling now, Miguel? I'm better. Good. I told you the drug would kick in pretty quick. Now, you just relax and get some rest and let your poor body heal. I'll check on you in a little while. <laughs> oh, that's special. That's right, Miguel. Enjoy the drug while you can. Sir. <clears throat> you need to fill out a report about what happened in solitary. What happened in solitary? This prisoner attacked you, didn't he? Oh, yeah, yeah, but it's no big deal. I'm fine. And the other guards made him pay, so let's just skip it. <laughs> Sorry, it's regulations, and the warden is a real stickler on things like this. Oh, well, okay. I'll do it later, though, all right? Because I'm supposed to be guarding this prisoner. He's sound asleep. And nothing's going to happen to him in here. You better do the report or the warden will make your life hell. Fine. Okay. Come on, you can uh, use my desk. Like a little baby. <laughs> Who's not gonna feel a thing? Laura, did you hear me? Are you gonna promise me or not? You gotta promise, Mommy. No magic. Promise. Mm. Hi, Andora. Oh, hello. You must be Amy. I'm Indora's mother, Mrs. Lennox. Hello. <laughs> and is that your nanny? No, this is my mommy. Oh, well, oh, so, so this is Mrs. Bradley. No, no, Vera. Today is an impossible day. I want to see the monkeys, don't you? No, Vera, I am not going to make the meeting. Not until after four. Uh, is that all right with you, Mrs. Bradley, if we go see the monkeys first? Uh, excuse me, dear. Uh, are you... Endures, mother? Yes, yes, I'm, I'm, uh, 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 Tabitha Lennox. How do you do? Oh. Nice to meet you. Amy's an adorable little girl. Yes, isn't she? Uh, look, Vera, I, I really need you Excuse to listen me, here. Mommy, can we see the monkeys first? The monkeys are fine, I don't care. I'm not even supposed to be here. My nanny called in sick. 
I could kill her, you know? She knew that I had plans today, and they certainly didn't include tracing around the godforsaken Harmony Zoo. But I'm here. Yeah. Yes, I suppose it's very difficult finding adequate child care. Oh, you have no idea. I tried to find someone to take care of Amy. I have a very important meeting. But here I am. Look, Vera, I need you to call Guy Eastman and give him a good reason. I don't care what you say, Vera. I'm sure you can find a lie that will suffice. Don't you worry, Amy. We're going to have a lovely time. Yes, you heard correctly. The zoo. I'm here with Amy and one of her little friends and her mother. <laughs> yes, she's one of those mothers. Yes. This is going to be a very long day. Mama, what is it? What's got you so upset? I just, um... I have a lot of stuff on my mind. Well, do you want to talk about it? I mean, you know, I'm a pretty good listener. I know you are. You're always so sweet. Is it about your brothers? Look, I know you're going through hell with Luis and Miguel being put in prison for something they didn't do. Yeah, it's horrible. Is that it, or is there something more? Is there something else going on? Yes, there's something else. Well, what is it? Do you want to talk about it? I want to, but I can't. You can't? No. No, th there's someone else involved in this, and, and I promised her I, I wouldn't talk about it. I, it's not that I don't trust you. I know you would keep it confidential, but I don't feel it's my place to share something like this. Paloma, I admire you for being such a good friend. I just hope I'm doing the right thing. I feel very torn about it. I can tell. Look, whatever it is, if you want to talk about it, you can. You can come to me. Thank you, Noah. Just being here and holding me is helping me so much. You know, maybe there is something else I can do. Uh, can I have an idea? Come on. I've defied the blackmailer to be with Ethan, he always finds out. I mean, he punished me by framing my brothers, Whitney. I mean, their lives are in danger every day in that prison. And if I don't do exactly what he wants, he's gonna go after the rest of my family. So you're really committed to having Jared's baby? Yes. Well, what does Ethan think about all this? Obviously, he doesn't want me to do it. You know, but I don't have a choice. No, I, I still don't believe that. There has to be a way to get your life back from this creature. I wish I knew how. It's just so terrible, this whole thing. I know. So, uh, you know, no matter how much I love Ethan, and no matter how much I want us to be together, we can never be. And I have to do exactly what the black man wants. I thought you understood. It's not going to be over with us. Not as long as I still want us to be together. I'll tell you when I'm done with you, okay? Yeah. And when will that be? How do I know? All I know is you're what I want right now. And until I decide I don't want you anymore, you'll show up when I tell you to show up. And you'll love every minute of it. Understand? Yeah. I understand. I understand exactly what I have to do. Uh, you know, I, I just thought we could use a little time alone. And since we both live at home, you know, maybe this is the place. Now, it's not the Ritz or anything, but, uh... It's what I could afford. And it's private. Right? It's all right, Noah. 
I'm happy to be alone with you wherever it is. I just want to be able to hold you, you know, and help you feel a little better. And I, I mean, we don't even have to, you know, make a little love or nothing like that. You know? <laughs> I always feel better when I'm with you. You're wonderful. So, um, what if I want to do something more? I mean, something more than just holding each other. Do I have to make it official and give you an order? Well, I am uh, very good at taking orders, officer. I'm so glad you obeyed the law. Miguel's death on my conscience. He's Marie's father, for God's sakes. If I'm going to be her stepfather, I have to be able to face her. Maria is a child. She will not find out what happened to Miguel for years. And when she does, her father will be a distant memory at best. No, that is not who I am. What have I, what have I become? I'm prepared to have Miguel murdered just so I can keep Kay? This is insanity. I'm sorry, Father, but I'm not a monster. What are you doing? Who are you calling? I am calling Spike. Wait, I can't go through with this. Don't do anything rash. I'm sorry, Father, but I can't go through with this. You can't go through with what? hell wants to spend the rest of their life behind bars not me and you know what you don't strike me as the kind of guy who'd like to be somebody else's bitch for the rest of his life <laughs> so i guess i'm doing you a double favor no 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 please do not thank me uh-uh this is on me say adios amigo Here we are, girls. Monkeys. I'm sorry, Vera. I know it's annoying, but what can I do? Look, I will call you back as soon as I have an ETA. Can we move this along? I have a very important meeting to get to. Oh, yes, I'm sure. It's very hard having an important job and trying to be a good mother. Oh, you have no idea. Oh, no, I understand in this day and age. I mean, you need two incomes to get by. <laughs> oh, don't be ridiculous. No, my husband's a very good provider. Well, I work because I, I, I want to. I love my job. Oh, uh, yes. In fact, it saved my sanity. You know, it wasn't until after a few weeks that Amy was born, I knew that if I didn't get out of the house, you know, away from the, the bottles and the diapers and the wailing, demanding baby, that I would lose my mind. I, I don't know how women do it, you know, stay at home all day long with no one to talk to but just a child. Uh, you know, also, I only work part-time. <laughs> yes, you know, I have my tennis club and my charity work, and plus I have a very full social calendar with my friends. <laughs> well, well, when do you have time to spend with Amy? Well, I'm with her right now, aren't I? Oh, plus, she has two nannies, and she's quite well taken care of. Oh, oh Francis, I was just going to call you. Yes, look, we need to get together to a silent auction for Saturday's gala. No, I'm not raffling that off. <laughs> How can I report what happened without getting Louise into more trouble? Hey, Faye, you got that report on Lopez Fitzgerald? The warden's been asking for it. Uh, no, not yet. I just started working on it. What's the holdup? There's no holdup. I'm just not finished writing down what happened. Why is it such a big deal, anyway? It's a big deal because one of the cons attacked you. He needs to be punished. Punished? <clears throat> you guys beat him half to death. I'd say he's been punished enough. You know, 
You've been asking about Lopez Fitzgerald since the day you got hired. Now you're having trouble writing a report about how he attacked you? What's the story, Ken? What's going on with you and this con, Luis Lopez Fitzgerald? What can't you go through with Fox? Well, Fox was, uh, he was uh, planning a romantic getaway for just the two of you. Uh, I mean, you've had so little time alone since, since the wedding, what with his being in hospital and all. And... Oh. oh, that's sweet. Well, why did you say you can't go through with it? Because I just can't. Yes, he realizes that uh, he can't take you away from Maria. I mean, considering what's happened with her father, and he's willing to postpone the trip. Yeah, you know, we can get away another weekend. I know you want to stay close to home in case anything happens with Miguel. Well, thank you. That's really nice of you to think of Maria and Miguel. But actually, I'm, I'm kind of glad we're staying home. Because we need to talk. Damn it. She still wants to tell me she's in love with Miguel. Julian, do you think you could give us some time alone? I mean, there's something important I would like to discuss with Fox. give you what we both know you want. I don't want anything from you. <laughs> now we know that's not true, baby. You need what I've got. I'm like a drug to you. You're hooked, and you're not getting off of me. Not for a long, long time. You can't tell me you don't want more of this. More of me. You know how good I can make you feel. And you want it bad, don't you? Mm. Yeah, you want me real bad. Honey, I, I really wish there was something I could do to help you. You're in a really impossible situation. Thanks. Yeah, it's impossible. You know, I feel like I'm trapped. You know, it reminds me of when I was married to Alistair. Oh, wow. That's saying a lot. I mean, that was a living hell. Yeah, it's just, that's what this creature is doing to me, you know? I don't know. I, I feel like I'm a puppet, and he's pulling the strings. Yeah, well, not just your strings. No, he's controlling the lives of everyone. Have you thought at all about trying to tell Jared any of this? Oh, no, I can't. Oh, my God, no, no. I mean, he, he's so sweet, you know, and he, he really loves me, and I don't want to hurt him. I kind of feel sorry for him, you know, he's caught in the middle of this whole mess. Yeah, I know. You know, he doesn't deserve any of this. He actually deserves a woman who loves him with her whole heart. Well, you did tell me that you do love him, right? Yeah, I mean, I do, I do, you know, it's just not the way I love Ethan, you know? I mean, I wish I could love him that way. I mean, I wish I could be happy about having his baby. Wow, I hate this. I hate seeing you just give up like this. I don't really have a choice, you know? I, I gotta get pregnant and soon. I mean, Black Miller wanted me pregnant yesterday, you know? I mean, yeah, but I, I could actually already be carrying Jared's child. So you could already be pregnant? Yeah. You know, I was already intimate with Jared. So, yes, it's definitely possible I could be carrying this child. 
Or Ethan's. What? Well, you said you had been with Ethan, too. So how do you know you're not carrying his baby and not Jared's? Already contacted the Thompsons. Yes. Now they're going to donate their private jet to their ski chalet in Aspen. Mommy, come and look at the monkey. Amy, Mommy's on the phone. Francis, I'm going to have to call you back. My daughter's making my life impossible. <laughs> Amy, how many times do I have to tell you Mommy needs her private time, too? Can you believe how tedious children are? It's like they think of no one else but themselves. Yes, well, they always do rather think they're the center of the universe. <laughs> do you have any other children, Mrs. Bradley? Oh, God, heavens, no. No. <laughs> no. One is quite enough. I've never understood those women who have litters of children, you know? I mean, don't they have lives? What's the matter with them? What's the matter with you? Uh-huh. She's always too busy to have fun with me. Your mommy's nice. She hugs and kisses you a lot. I'm always bothering her. She has more important things to do. She wishes she didn't have me. All right, Amy, let's move this along, huh? Oh, this has been a very long day for me, and I have a massage scheduled after the meeting, and believe me, after this outing, I am not going to miss that. God, Whitney. No, I, I can't be pregnant with Ethan's child. I mean, the, the blackmailer, he would know, and he would do something terrible. I know he would. Okay, I didn't mean to upset you any more than you already are, but it is possible, isn't it? Yeah, yes, it's possible, yes. Okay, um, you, you know what? Just forget I said anything. Just, just forget I even brought it up. I mean, if you and Jared are actively, you know, trying to have a baby, then I'm sure that's who you're going to get pregnant by. Yes, of course. <laughs> right. You know, I think I'm going to call your mom and, I, and I'm going to find out how soon I can take that pregnancy test. This is, this is really weird. I, uh, it must be in the air. What? Oh, wait, wait, what's weird? What's, what? Well, I, uh, I came over here to tell you something, but, you know, I don't think now's a good time. No, we should just talk about it later. No, it's a great time. You don't tell me. Yeah. Best friends. Come on. Open up. What? Okay. Um, I think I might be pregnant, too. I brought a test over here so we could take it together to, for, you know, find out for sure. But I think Chad and I might be having another baby. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I know. And I thought we were passionate. <laughs> yeah, we could give them a run for their money. Nah. I like things the way they are between us. In fact, I think we're just perfect together. Hmm. I couldn't agree with you more. So? What are you, one of those groupies who's always in love with convicted killers? Oh, are you nuts? Of course I'm not one of those crazy groupies. Okay, then. What is it between you and Lopez Fitzgerald? There's nothing between us. I don't even know the guy. He saw the chance to jump me, and he did. Ah, uh -huh. that's my point. He attacked you for no reason. You could have been killed. So how come you don't want to file a report against him? What's really going on here? I really need to talk to your son. It's important. I, I know that you have had a... Uh, a terrible day. The, f the fact is, Fox is feeling a bit under the weather himself, what with those treatments this morning. So perhaps it's best if you postpone your little chit-chat till later. What do you think, son? Oh, I, th I think you're right. You know, I thought I was feeling okay, but, uh... Oh, I am certainly feeling a little bit weak. Well, uh, may I get you some water, perhaps? Or... Yeah, yeah, water would be good. All right. I'm sorry. Gosh, I... You should rest. Is there anything I can do for you? No, no, honey. Um, nothing you can do for me right now. 
I think that my father wants to stay with me now. You know, he worries a lot more than he'd like us to think. Yeah. Well, I mean, in that case, I'm, I think I'm going to go lie down with Maria, too. I, I'm pretty wiped myself. Oh, of course, dear. You've had a very trying day. Yeah, um, yeah, you go ahead, and uh, I'll just stay here and rest. Okay. We'll talk later. Now, do you understand? Is there any doubt in your mind that she was about to end your marriage? No, there's no doubt in my mind that's what she was about to do. Uh -huh. You believe me? The only way to keep your marriage and your dignity is to have Miguel killed. You must let Spike do his job. Adios, muchacho. <laughs> <laughs>